Population growth, increased commercial demand, and drought are just some examples of issues that are making our water a more precious commodity every day. The cost of pumping, treating, and distributing safe drinking water has never been higher or more important than they are today. These factors, along with many others, make maintaining the integrity of the water distribution infrastructure a top priority for every city in every country around the globe. The Fisher XLT17 and XLT30 are high quality, reliable tools that will allow the water industry professional to find leaks on his buried water mains using advanced acoustic enhancing technologies. Leak detection is a combination of art and science. The science is in the mics, the sensors, and the electronics found in modern leak detection equipment. The art is in the individual's ability to use the equipment and locate sources of noise, some incredibly minute, that are caused by water escaping from buried pipes. With practice, an individual with average hearing can become very proficient at locating leaks using the XLT series from Fisher. Let's start by looking at the user interface of the XLT30. The XLT17 has the same general controls as the XLT30 with less filter options, no backlight, and a narrower bandwidth in its sensors. The other functions are basically the same. The XLT30 has the capabilities to listen to sounds from the 60 Hz to the 6 kHz range when used in the all frequency mode. To turn the unit on or off, at first you get a startup battery test for approximately 3 seconds. Please note, the headphones must be plugged in for the unit to turn on. This is a battery saving feature. The XLT30 has a backlight for darkness or low light use. The LED is of minimum battery draw. Because of high traffic noise or other loud sounds during the day, having the ability to use the unit at night may prove beneficial. Water usage is also at a minimum at night, so pipeline noise should be at its lowest, and water pressure at its highest and most stable. The filter button scrolls between the high range filter, the low filter range, and both of these can be adjusted using the up and down arrow keys. It has frequency control, which allows the user to listen to a very narrow sound band to isolate leak noise, and an AL, which is all filter, which has no filtering at all. The notch filter is for blocking out a narrow range of sound to help with interfering noise, such as 60 Hz or compressor noise. Simply move the filter using the arrow keys until the offending sound is muffled by the filter. The up-down arrow keys control the volume and filter ranges on the XLT30 and 17. The hold mute button mutes sounds from the microphone and holds the reading on the screen. Each mic also has a mute button to protect the user from excessive noise when moving the unit from one position to another. The volume control controls the volume on the XLT30. Increasing the volume when looking for small leaks and leaks in plastic pipe is advisable. Sound level to the ear can be controlled by a volume knob on the headset. The resume button saves the settings and returns the user to the active screen for locating leaks. Note, the display gives you both numeric and bar graph display to compare noise levels at various locations with a fixed bar remaining at the highest sound level taken. Simply push the resume button to refresh the screen. The headphones have an individual volume control on the side of the headphones. The headphones also have a high quality cushioned earpiece for comfort in blocking out street noise or other sounds. Fisher makes four different microphones to help find leaks under a variety of conditions and for a variety of applications. Please remember, before attempting to find the leak, you should first locate the water line. Doing this will ensure that you are directly over the line, not adding more ground cover to mask the leak noise by being left or right of the pipe center. The hydrophonic probe is used for contact mic, valves, hydrants, and soft earth applications. The little foot microphone is for indoor use, tight areas, and is an excellent sensor for plumbers. The big foot microphone is for walking water main under asphalt or concrete. Excellent sound baffling for reduction in wind noise and other outside sounds is the main feature of this microphone. 
The multi-sensor has the same great high quality sensor as the Bigfoot in a smaller package for contact mic work, soft earth, or mainline applications. When using the multi-sensor in hard soil, it is advisable to make a pilot hole to keep from putting too much pressure on the sensor when being pushed into the ground. Do not pound or hammer the mic into hard soil. You could damage the sensor. Leak sounds may be heard at different locations, such as hydrants, meter pits, valves, surface of ground, and underground. The more dense the pipe material, the better it will conduct sound, making the detection of the leak easier. On a ductile iron pipe, the sound will travel much farther than the same size or pressure leak on a plastic pipe. When looking for a leak on metal pipes, listen every four to six feet, roughly two steps. When looking for a leak on a PVC or plastic pipe, listen every two to four feet, or one step. Other sounds that can help you pinpoint a leak's location are sounds such as gravel rolling and striking against each other, sand grating against itself or other solid objects, or dirt or rocks falling into the void caused by the erosion from the leak. Soil density. Remember that the fill over the pipe may be different from that of the soil in the area. Loose soil, especially with gravel or rock, is good for sound transmission. Wet sand, heavy clay, and heavy compaction make sound transmission much more difficult. For information about finding leaks in swimming pools, we recommend contacting Anderson Manufacturing at 651-484-1316. These are a few of our most frequently asked questions. The unit will not turn on. Check the batteries and try again. The unit still won't turn on. Make sure the headphones are plugged into the control housing. If they are not, the unit will not work. Sometimes the headphone jack will get a film on it, preventing contact when it is plugged into the unit. Simply clean with some contact cleaner approved for electronic devices and check the female jack on the control housing to make sure that it is clean and unobstructed also. This should take care of it. If not, send it in for repair to a factory authorized repair center. A listing of these is available on our website. I can't find a leak. A couple of the most common issues that I see in the field are people looking for leaks where they think the pipe is and moving too fast looking for the leak. First, always determine the pipe's exact location. Moving as little as two feet to the left or right of the center of the pipe can add an additional foot or more of soil resistance to the leak sound and slow down. In many situations, the sound being generated by the leak is very minute. Taking your time and thoroughly covering the possible leak area is crucial to success. There is too much outside noise. Look for leaks during the quiet times. The middle of the day may work well in a working class subdivision, but high traffic areas may have to be located at night or early in the morning. If there are engines or compressors running, it will probably be necessary to shut them off or unplug the offending appliance in a home or office. As with any job requiring tools, the longer and more often you use your leak detector, the more comfortable and better that you will be with it. The XLT30 and 17 are high quality electronic tools and should provide your company the ability to look for money robbing leaks for many years to come. If you have any questions about the XLT series or any of the products manufactured by Fisher, please visit us on the web or call our office. Find it first with Fisher, the first name in locating since 1931.